everybody, it's Laura with Low Marie Vintage and welcome to the first in my how-to video series. Today I'm going to be talking about how to look good in vintage clothing. Just a disclaimer, this video is about how to shop for your body and not necessarily about how to change your body. I will be giving you my big five tips on what to look for when you're trying to buy vintage clothing. So the first thing we're going to talk about is size because it is the most important, but I'm not talking about dress size. So I'm not talking about two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm talking about your measurements. Now, if you don't know your measurements, you really should just go grab a piece of string or grab a tape measure if you have it and figure that out. And even if you're not sure, take the measurements of a piece of clothing that fits you correctly and kind of look at those in comparison to the outfit that you're interested in. Vintage sizing is different than modern day sizing. Now, of course, modern day sizing is not consistent in and of itself. I can be a size 6 in one store and a size 12 in another store. It is absolutely ridiculous. Something that is printed as a size um, 8, but it's a dress from the 1960s, could actually fit like a modern day size 4. Uh, if you are shopping for vintage clothing on, online uh, with a shop like Etsy, if the uh, seller does not list the measurements in inches or whatever form of measurement they use, be sure to ask um, because those inches are those measurements saying, you know, 36, 28, those are going to be the most accurate. I do know what my personal measurements are and I always compare those uh, to the measurements on the website. Even modern day sizing, if you're not buying vintage, even to know your sizes to compare that to the store chart is so helpful just to know kind of where you where you stand on their sizing. And don't get bent out of shape about your measurements. Whatever your measurements are, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with your body if you can't fit into some clothing. The measurements are just different. There's nothing wrong with you. It, the, the dress is just wrong. So once you know your measurements, which is the most important thing, uh, then you can move on to silhouette and start thinking about how that outfit's going to look on your body. And I'm not talking about what you should wear based on your body type. You need to wear what you feel most confident in. So I know going in that I feel most comfortable and I feel like the things that are the most flattering on me are items that nip in at the waist and flare out at the hips because my waist is my smallest point. I look for that similar silhouette, so tight on the top, open at the bottom, in modern day clothing and vintage clothing because the patterns will change, the material will change, and all the other embellishments will change, but once you know what shape you like and know what shape looks good on your body, just apply that shape to everything. And I promise you, once you know your body and you know your style and you know what you like, it will make shopping so much easier. Because you'll look at a dress and say, that is a beautiful dress, but you know in your mind, it's probably not going to be something that you're going to feel confident in. And in effect, it's not going to look very good on you because you're not going to feel good in it. So that's the key. Once you know what shape you like, ignore all the other details. If it's not the shape you know you like and you know you feel confident in, don't buy it. Because I know in your head you're thinking, oh, I can make it work, but it will sit in the back of your closet, and if it even fits you, you're still never going to wear it. So next we're going to talk about the material itself. So we know our measurements are correct. Uh, we know that the silhouette is what we generally go for and what we feel real confident in. But now it comes down to what it's actually made out of. Again, I'm going to speak from personal experience. I don't like satin, but I like some other controversial fabrics like velvet. You need to know what you like and what you don't like. Some people have allergies if you do have sensitive skin wear cotton, something that will breathe easily. Learn what materials feel good on your body. Um, the amount of stretch, the amount of itch. I don't like wool. I'm going to be honest. I don't like wool. I think it's itchy. So again, just like the silhouette, don't say, oh, well, I can make it work even though it's half satin, half wool. I'll be like, no, I know I don't like wool and I know I don't like satin. I'm not going to buy this dress no matter how cute it is. I know it's just going to feel bad against my skin. And again, if you don't feel good, you're not going to look good. So the next thing on my list, I'm going to call it know-how, but it's just kind of knowing what the item is. Size, silhouette, material, everything seems to be good. I kind of need to know what it is. Here's a fun story. When I was in college, so I was 19, I was just starting to develop a sense of style and get into vintage clothing. Um, I bought a shirt and it would always gape in the front and I don't even have big boobage going on. I don't have a lot of boobs. 
and I'm like, why does it not? I mean, it just never looks right in the front. It's so pretty and it was white lace and I just couldn't understand what was wrong with it until my friend said, well, isn't it supposed to button in the back? So fun fact, up until really the 70s, so before 19, the 1970s, it was very common for women's clothing to button in the back, so you would need assistance getting dressed. Um, I did not know that, and I was trying to button this dress in the front, or the shirt in the front, and it looked bad because I didn't know how to wear it. So it's good to know what the item is, how to wear the item, before you go ahead and write it off and like, oh my God, it doesn't fit, it looks awful. Maybe just adjust it. So now we have our perfect vintage piece. We know the size is right. We know the silhouette is good. We know the material is something that we like. We know how to wear it but it really comes down to confidence. Now, if all those other things are in place, you're going to be confident. Now, if you walk around and you feel like, oh my gosh, everyone's looking at me, I feel like I'm in a costume, I feel like it's too bright or it's too much fabric or the shoulder pads are too big, if you feel like that, it's gonna reflect negatively on your whole, on your whole appearance. But also, no, if you walk around and act like you own it and you act like you think you're the most beautiful thing to ever grace the planet, people will believe you and people will think you look better in that outfit. If you feel good, you will look good. So if everything else is in place and you think you look like a rock star, just don't let that feeling, don't lose that feeling once you walk out the door. Just keep it with you. And if you convince yourself you look awesome, you will look awesome. So anyone who's ever said, Laura, you look great, but I could never pull that off, you can pull it off. Anyone can pull off anything they want to wear as long as they feel good in it. So those are my big five tips on how to look good in vintage clothing. If you're interested in looking at some vintage clothing, I'll have a link to the Low Marie Vintage store in the description below. We try to carry a wide range of sizes, decades, silhouette, silhouettes, shapes, materials, all that good stuff. If you do have any questions about either measurements or material or anything I've discussed in this video, be sure to message me either here or on Etsy and let me know I'd gladly answer your questions because I want you to feel confident in the item that you're purchasing. So I want you to know it's going to look great on you. Find Low Marie Vintage on all social media. I'm at Low Marie Vintage everywhere. Uh, like I said, be sure to check out the shop. You might find something wonderful that will look great on you and you definitely need in your closet. It's also almost the holidays so you can get a you present for yourself. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.